This is activity four. Is it a reflection? This is the cool down for lesson two, which is naming the moves from unit one, rigid transformations and congruence. And so they give you this figure and they ask, um, what type of moves takes figure A to figure B? And I made a mistake as I went through this. I just started looking at figure B and moving figure B to figure A. Still the same idea, it's just the reverse, it's just a move in the reverse direction. So it doesn't really matter, it doesn't change the answer. All right, so there are three moves that we have talked about. One is a slide where you take the shape and you just slide it through the plane, you keep everything oriented in the same way, but every point gets slid the same distance and in the same direction. So let's test that first. So I'm gonna take image B and I'm going to slide it towards image A. And so each of these arrows are parallel. So, so every point is moving in the same direction and every point is moving the same distance. Each of these arrows is the same length. And I'm gonna change the color. Actually, let's get rid of all those arrows. And you can see that B slides over to the green shape here and that does not cover A. A little bit easier to see if I make A red. So A is not a translation. It's not a slide. They're called translations. We'll get to that later. It's not a slide of B. It's not a movement of B through the plane um, where every point moves in an equal, at an equal distance and in an equal direction, in the same direction. What about a rotation? So to look at a rotation, think of a circle and think of each of these points moving around that circle and rotating around that circle. And so I could draw a circle for every single point in this image. I'm gonna just choose this point right here. We're gonna look at this point rotating around and see if it lands at its corresponding point, which is up here. So B is gonna rotate around. And if it lands at its corresponding point, which it does, then A is a rotation of B, and A is actually a 180 degree rotation of B because this travels 180 degrees from this point here to this point here. And actually every single point that makes up the image for B travels 180 degrees and lands on its corresponding point in A. So A is a rotation of B. And how about a reflection? So if we draw, they actually give us a line of reflection. So if I reflect B over that line, and what that means is I'm taking each corresponding point and I'm moving it in a perpendicular direction to the line of reflection, and I'm moving in an equal distance to the other side. So this point here moves perpendicular to the line of reflection, and this line right here is an equal distance to this line right here, and these are corresponding points. This point moves an equal distance to the line of reflection and perpendicular to it, and then it moves an equal distance on the other side. So this is its corresponding point. And um, this point here, the same thing. This distance is equal. This distance and this distance are both the same distance from the line of direction, reflection, and they are perpendicular to that line of reflection. So if you do that, you see that, oops, you see that A is not a reflection of B. The image, ref the reflection of B ends up here, this blue shape, and it does not match the position of A. It does not cover A. However, since um, A is a 180 degree rotation of B, whenever you have a 180 degree rotation, you can always get from one shape to the other shape, the rotated shape, through two reflections. So if I reflect B over the vertical line of reflection, the vertical axis, it's gonna go to here, so now B has been reflected over this vertical um, axis. Make that a line of reflection. B goes to here. And now if I reflect that image, the red image, which is a, um, a reflection of B over the horizontal axis, it's gonna end up covering A. So A is actually, can be the result of two reflections. It's just not the result of A reflection or a single reflection. It is the result of a rotation, a 180 degree rotation.